Hey, Jim Perker from iDry here. We're gonna look at the business end of the kiln. This is the end of the kiln opposite of the door where the controls are, electronics and so on. We're gonna open up these rear louvers and take a look. The covers on the back of the kiln are, are just magnetic to the kiln, so they're really easy to snap off. And back here we can see the vacuum pump, which is a little bit tough to see. It blends in nicely with the kiln, but that's a liquid ring vacuum pump. And we have the input to that pump, or the inlet, where the vacuum is drawn. And then we have the exhaust of the pump, or the outlet, where the air and moisture vapor is exhausted. This is the line that goes to both the air and moisture exhaust and down out the bottom where the uh, water condensate drains to that vacuum pump drain. Um, we have into that pump one water line. The, that half inch NPT water connection uh, runs to here through a flow sensor and temperature sensor and a solenoid to control that water on and off. The pump only uses water when it's running and the pump runs about five to 10% of the time. This pump requires at, uh, around three quarters of a gallon per minute when it's running. And there is an option to recirculate this water. I personally like to just connect to city water, or well water, or whatever you have, uh, assuming you have an adequate supply, which 99% of our customers do. Uh, I think that's just the easiest. Uh, we also have back here connections for the fan motor, which is inside the kiln, uh, s different RTD sensors for temperature sensing, and we have the electric heating elements back here as well. All really easily accessible once you remove those louvers, but none of which is much uh, that requires a lot of maintenance or work, but it is easily accessible.